before it wiped out worry lines and age wrinkles, Botox was originally created to stop muscle spasms in the eye. Besides its fountain of youth qualities, it's being used to relieve exhausting and sometimes debilitating effects of a neurological disorder called dystonia. So Leslie Mouton reports a doctor in Las Vegas making the procedure even more precise. That's neat. Yeah, that is cool. Shaw and John Lasinski took some time to admire Peter Alexander's glass sculpture Sugar after their two-hour drive to Las Vegas. They came to the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health so Shaw can get her Botox. And that's really overactive. It's, it's hypertrophy, and so that's what's causing a lot of the problems. I'm sorry, on. Shaw has dystonia. It's a neurological condition suffered by 300,000 Americans. Her neck muscles misfire, causing spasms and this tremor. Some people have problems with their neck. They can have a normal posturing where their neck is turned. Um, some people have more extreme symptoms where their limbs are actually distorted. It's very painful. Dr. Brent Blewett gives Char six shots of Botox in her neck and shoulder muscles to relax them. He also uses this electromyelogram to pinpoint where to give the injections. The meter sounds like this when he touches the tense muscle. You feel much better afterwards, you know, once it starts kicking in. Like I said, it doesn't, the, my head doesn't have a tendency to move to the right as much as it does if I don't have the shots take, you know, given. It takes a few days for the Botox to take effect, and patients have to come back about every three months when it wears off. The treatment can temporarily cause flu-like symptoms or pain when swallowing. So patients start with a low dose, and it's slowly increased until it works. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.